4.5 factors affecting the development of a fetus and baby. Same or different nutritional requirement okay, between the uh, women who are not pregnant and women who are pregnant, the requirement for the nutrition between them is different. Okay, for the um, pregnant woman, they need more nutritious food. Okay, fetus obtain nutrients and oxygen from the mother. Okay, through the umbilical cord. Healthy food will produce healthy baby. Unhealthy food will produce unhealthy baby. So it's very easy. If the pregnant woman take healthy food, the baby also will become healthy. And if the mother, the pregnant mother, uh, take unhealthy food, like, let's say the fast food, the junk foods, um, and the baby also will be unhealthy. Okay, next is the um, the amount amount of nutrition that needed by the pregnant woman. Okay, so all these are the example of the nut, uh, nutrition. Okay, um, which are the carbohydrate, protein, calcium, vitamin A, iron, and vitamin C. Okay, first we go through what is the calcium and phosphorus, what is the function of this calcium and phosphorus. So it will give the pregnant woman okay, the healthy formation of the fetus bones. Okay, helps to, to produce the healthy fetus bones and also will protect the bones and teeth of the mother. Okay, next will be the iron. So uh, the iron, uh, this is uh, an example of iron, okay, meat, and then the spinach, and also uh, some nuts, uh, eggs, okay, also we have iron in there, and the iron helps in the formation of hemoglobin to prevent anemia, okay, so anemia is uh, what we call a, a, prob a problem where the person like off what, uh, red blood cells and then the uh, fiber okay the fiber fiber we have the uh, fruits vegetables and also nuts and actually uh, all all foods have fiber but the number or the amount of fi fiber in in the in the food is different so the fiber can prevent constipation Okay, next is the vitamin C. Vitamin C is good for skin health of the fetus and also the mother. And also to prevent bleeding gums. And carbohydrate and fat, okay, which is from the rice, the bread, the corn, and then the uh, pasta, the spaghetti, and the fat from the milk, the cheese, okay, and so on. I oh, forgot to mention just now, the vitamin C is from the citrus fruits, strawberries and kiwis. Okay, next is the folic acid. The folic acid is important for the nervous system development of the fetus. Okay, example of the uh, food that contain a uh, high amount of the folic acid is the um, broccoli. Okay, and then the protein. Protein is important for the growth of the new cells of the fetus. Okay, all the cells okay, will uh, grow in the fetus. So we need a lot of protein from the uh, chicken, the fish, okay, eggs, and many more. Okay, but for the folic acid, sometimes, um, okay, sometimes uh, the doctors will uh, provide the folic acid in a tablet form because um, maybe the mother it will uh, take not enough, uh, not enough folic acid. Okay, because folic acid is very important. Uh. Okay, so the pregnant kind of pregnant woman do this. Okay, this is actually examples of unhealthy lifestyles. Okay, smoking, taking drugs, and drink alcohol. Okay, so all these unhealthy lifestyle will affect their babies. Okay, but not not just affect the mother, the pregnant woman, 
those are the babies. Okay, so the all those things. Okay, example here, smoking. Smoking can can cause the premature premature baby, low birth weight, higher mortality rate, retarded baby, and miscarriage. Okay, fetal alcohol syndrome. Okay, the baby will born with a low birth weight, small head measurement, retarded facial abnormalities. So you can see the the photos here, the example of the syndrome because of the alcohol. Okay, next is the fetal defect okay, because of the drugs. Okay, next is the importance of the breast milk. Okay, why breast milk is very important? Because it contains all essential nutrients and also it contains antibodies which, pro which can protect baby from certain diseases. And the mother and the baby also will become closer and um, the breast milk also will give a better digestion compared to formula milk. Okay, because sometimes if the baby take the formula milk and um, might be the the formula milk is not suitable for the the baby and the parents need to to find a, a few types of or a few brands of formula milk for the baby okay they need to try one by one until the baby is uh, okay with the formula milks 